Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix missing checkout page or even if the checkout page is there but it is not showing your checkout fields for WooCommerce, then I'll show you how you can fix both of these problems. So first of all, let me show you that I do not have the checkout page working right now. If I go to checkout, I already have some products in my shopping cart and if I click on, click on view cart, I'll redirect it to cart page. But when I click on proceed to checkout, then it's returning me to the home page or even if it is on the checkout page, there is no field available for that. So let me show you how to fix both of these issues. So the first problem that I am facing is that there is no checkout page at all. The second problem which I mentioned is there is a checkout page but it is not showing the fields for WooCommerce checkout page. So for fixing the second problem you just have to go to dashboard pages and delete the checkout page if it's already there. So that will resolve that will start resolving the second problem but if you do not have the checkout page that is uh, okay the, you can start the process from here. Okay, just delete the checkout page or if it is not there, just follow the instruction here. Click on add page and name it, name it at the title as checkout, exactly this spelling, checkout. And now let's add a short code. If you are using classic editor, just uh, type the short code there like this. Start short code and WooCommerce underscore checkout and close short code. Click on publish. Okay, now this page will show the checkout fields, but there is one more problem. If you click in the URL and type directly checkout, then it will show you the checkout page. But if you go to cart and click on proceed to checkout, it will still not work because the checkout page is not in the system yet. So go to your dashboard again. Okay, you can see we have the checkout page here, but instead of setting as checkout page like this cart page and the blog post page or front page or privacy policy or shop page checkout page do not have anything assigned yet so for this click on WooCommerce and settings in the settings click on advanced tab okay here you can see we have card page assigned my account assigned but checkout page not assigned just click here and start typing checkout and click on the page which shows in the drop down and click on save changes now come to front end refresh the home page and now when you click on cart and go to cart or directly checkout it will work let's just go to view cart and now when you click on proceed to checkout you will see the checkout page here now the next thing you are seeing right here is a sidebar which um, which is very from theme to theme or website to website but if you already have elementor installed or you have a different type of template you can choose that let's edit the checkout page and in the page element go to templates it's default templates if you have any without sidebar template then you can select that but i have elementor so i will choose elementor full width and click on save it will remove this sidebar and make it a full page Purge cache. It. 
okay we have some sidebar option maybe in the settings but for this we already removed it from elementor full width okay, updated let's view this so there may be some other settings in our theme because i am using woodmark theme and that that is maybe according to that but if you have just Elementor installed, this will work for you and the checkout page will be fixed. So I hope you learned something from today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos. Thank you.